Hello, welcome everyone. Yes, it is almost the end of January. I don't know where it went. Um, but uh, yeah, time for the candle wax and um, candle and wax melt empties. And I have a whole whack of them this month. Um, I think what happened was we were uh, redoing the family room and um, our wall unit is just a big behemoth. Things just huge. So that's where I store a lot of the candles. So Frank says, you gotta empty it out because I gotta move it to put the hardwood down. So I had to empty everything out of the wall unit. And I found candles that I totally forgot about. And some were just half full, some were almost empty. I'm going, I gotta use these up. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, that was uh, quite a lot of work. But anyway, so yeah, I better, I better get started because there's an awful lot of them. And um, I got a croaky throat, a little bit of a cold. So I'm have to take quite a few sips on my uh, chai latte muffin. So anyway, let's start with the candles. And this is a <clears throat> Yankee Candle World Journeys, and this is in California redwood. This was a beautiful deep, deep red wax, and it did smell exactly like cedar trees. Uh, it smelled wonderful. The only problem is I couldn't smell it. Um, I would basically have to stand over it to get any smell from this. I did try it in the candle crock. I still couldn't get any smell. You can certainly smell it on cold throw, um, but yeah, I tried both burning it and the candle crock, and I couldn't smell this. Um, but oh, it was it was just a lovely, lovely cedar scent. Um, but unfortunately, just no luck with that one. I usually have fairly good luck with the World Journeys. They're at least a medium to medium strong to strong throw, but it didn't work. And then this is uh, Silver Pine and Cedar by Bath and Body Works. And this was, um, it wasn't a heavy evergreen. It was a very light, bright uh, evergreen. Oh, it's just, um, it, it has some eucalyptus. I'm picking up a, maybe a little bit of eucalyptus. That's why it's just kind of bright. Um, it reminds me of juniper. It says silver pine and cedar. Um, it reminds me of juniper, which is a very bright um, evergreen. Um, but yeah, I really like this one. I don't remember having any problems with the burn. Uh, it was um, probably at least a medium strong throw. I really actually did like this one. And uh, this one is, oop, break something here. This is Urban Market Candles, which I found in the discount stores. Um, I bought two of these. Um, the other one was Fireside something, and it was a beautiful uh, woodsy, smoky scent, um, but the throw was uh, on the lighter side. This one is Spiced Citrus and Vanilla. Uh, again, a very almost herbal-like uh, citrus, uh, very wintry citrus instead of a tropical citrus. Um, but again, uh, there was one wick. Um, they actually burned fairly well. Um, but yeah, the throw was just a little too light. I did put it in the candle crock and it was a little bit better. Um, they do have wonderful scents. I just, very light throws though. And this one is uh, Frosty Air uh, by Bath and Body Works. And, oh, can't smell it too much anymore. Uh, this is actually kind of a soothing peppermint. It wasn't a bright, astringent kind of um, minty scent uh, but it was just a very almost a powdery minty smell if that makes any sense I really did like it I didn't have any problems with the wicks um, a fairly decent throw um, yeah I actually really like that one and this is winter cedar and yeah, this is just a, a straight up cedar scent uh, which I know Myra you like your cedar scents and this was good. This um, this was definitely just basically a nice cedar scent. Um, I just burned this in the office and I got a very good throw. I'm not sure how it would do in, in the bigger room or anything. Um, I don't remember cotton balling this one. I don't think I did. Um, yeah, I don't have much of a memory if I go back more in a few weeks. Forget it. Um, 
but I know it was a fairly decent throw, maybe a medium strong throw, um, and I don't remember any issues with the burn. And uh, this is a Yankee Candle Cinnamon Vanilla. And I think I ended up putting this in the candle crock. I think I tried to burn it in the office. Um, it was a very slow burner. It took quite a while to uh, pool out. I had the lumen lid and everything on it. Um, now it just smells like a, a kind of a generic cinnamon vanilla scent uh, on cold, but when it melted, it uh, just really warmed up and uh, just uh, was just much richer and more decadent. Um, I really like this on um, when it was warmed up. Um, yeah, I just, I think I threw it on the candle crock because it, it was tunneling a bit and the throw wasn't as strong as I wanted it to be. And when I put it in the candle crock, it really threw much better. And um, just the, when it was warmed up, the, just the richness of it came out. Um, so yeah, it's uh, not great burning, but on the candle crock, yeah, I really, it really just took on another dimension. And this one I just finished up yesterday. This is a Goose Creek, and this is Follow Your Dreams, and it's just a beautiful label. And this is in the scent Peanut Butter Sugar. And yeah, this one is actually... Um, now, Goose Creek has a problem with some soot issues. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit blackened, but um, not too bad. Um, it didn't have puny wicks. It didn't have overly large uh, wicks, which it sometimes does. It just had very good wicks throughout. Um, but yeah, it did set a little bit. Um, uh, I probably could have trimmed the wicks more, uh, but this was actually uh, quite strong. I burned this in the kitchen and it filled up the kitchen and it wandered out into the, the eating area and, and, the, and the family room. So it was a good strong throw. Um, now some people, I think I'm one of those people who don't get peanut butter. I get a nutty kind of caramel, maybe a nutty caramel salty note to it. I guess if I think hard enough, it does smell like peanut butter, but I get, I got just more of a nutty um, scent, but not peanutty. Um, but yeah, it, it was actually, um, it was actually a good candle. I can't complain about that. Um, it was a good throw. I like the smell. The label's just beautiful. And I tried that scent in the Goose Creek Melts and it was quite strong. Um, so if you're going to get that one, I'd go for the melts. Uh, this is Flannel by Bath & Body Works. Um, yeah, I love flannel. Um, yeah, it just, it just smells like... Uh, a uh, guy getting out of the shower and crawling into a, a newly washed flannelette sheet bed. Um, oh, I love this one. It was I had no problem with the wicks. Um, it was a strong throw. It was soothing, relaxing. Some people call it a clone scent. It's a good clone scent. Um, I love this one. I get this every year. And uh, just finished up sweater weather last night. Um, I get this every year also. It's just a classic um, fall winter scent for me. I never get tired of it. Um, I did have to um, cotton ball it a couple of times, about three quarters of the way down. And, um, but strong throw. It looked very pretty uh, when it was lighted up. You could see the light coming through these landscape scenes. It was very, very pretty. Um, it was a white wax. It turned kind of like swamp water the color when it was burning, but I mean, you couldn't see it unless you looked right in it. So um, yeah, I sweater weather is a classic that I just get every, every year and I love it. And this one, um, I dug out of the wall unit and this is Creamy Coca. Um, I don't find this as good as the Bath and Body Works Coca and Cream, I think it is. Uh, I like that one better. This one's not quite as authentic. Um, the throw was not great when I was burning it, so I threw this in the candle crock and I could smell it much better in the candle crock. Got a few more days out of it. It was already like three quarters of the way done. 
Um, but it did better in the candle crock, but it wasn't my favorite kind of chocolate milk scent. Um, yeah, it, it just, it was okay. And this is Country Home Candles. This is a Canadian company. This is sugared uh, gingerbread. Um, this did not smell like gingerbread. It was not authentic. It just smelled like a kind of a vanilla caramel kind of scent. <clears throat> it was on the lighter side. I threw this in the candle crock. Um, it, it just it wasn't my favorite. Um, I, I like their melts better. I find their melts are much stronger um, than their candles. And this little fella is a DW candle, Fireside Embers. Oh, there goes my throat. <clears throat> and uh, I love this on cold. This is a little uh, 3.8 ounces, I think. Um, and I loved it on cold. I had to stand over it to smell it, though, when it was burning. But I absolutely love this scent. And if I see it in a... Um, a three wick or like a two wick uh, I'm gonna try it because um, it is so good it's just um, it's like a it's it's like a clony scent uh, mixed with just that uh, that fire burning it just I know it sounds kind of weird but it's it just smells very very good oh, I really do like it but um, yeah it was a little on the light side it burned well um, but if I do see it in a three wick, I definitely give it a try. <clears throat> and this is Everyday Luxe Sea Salt and Ginger. This is my second one. Um, it burned fairly well, but um, it was a little bit light. Um, it doesn't smell really like sea salt or ginger. It's just, it's, it's a soothing kind of spa-like smell, but um, I didn't really pick up either scent. Um, I think I ended up throwing this in the crock too, and um, yeah, it's just, it's, it wasn't anything special. Okay, and then on to, oops, on to my melts. Ah, uh, okay, this one is a uh, country candle, daylight candle, snowflakes glistening, and April gave this to me. Um, we went down to the States and she picked it up in that, um, that uh, place that, when you order something from the stage, you can pick it up at this area that keeps your parcels and all this stuff. Anyway, she took it out, she sniffed it, and she goes, oh, you can have this one. So um, I liked it. It is a very bright, um, kind of a pine eucalyptus scent. It's very, very bright, like it'll clean your sinuses out when you sniff it on cold. It kind of tamed down when it was melting. Um, this one didn't last too long. 1.5 ounces burns for up to 12 hours. Yeah, I don't even know if it lasted quite 12 hours, maybe close to it. I wasn't really keeping track too much, but it did melt down quickly. This little guy did fill up my bedroom though, I gotta say. Um, it did have a very good throw, um, and I really did like the scent. Uh, this is Colonial Candles, candles uh, Juniper Berry in the Melt. And I'm trying to think now. This did not smell like juniper. Juniper has a very distinct, bright scent, and this didn't smell like it. There is a bit of a, a berry scent in there. Um, just wasn't quite what I was expecting. If the juniper really screamed its head off there with the berry, I probably would have liked it more. And I can't remember the throw on this one. Um, this is... Oh. <laughs> okay, this... <laughs> I thought I had only bought one of these. I guess I had bought two of them. This is the infamous one that smelled like a ham sandwich to me, and that's the New Orleans Powdered by Binet. Binet. Um, yeah, I thought I had um, just the one, but I guess I got two, so I didn't even try to burn this. I just threw out the wax. I kept the package just to recycle it. But it... I have nothing against ham sandwiches. Let, don't, don't give me any hate comments. I love ham sandwiches, okay? I just don't want to smell it in a candle. But every time I smell this, it is a ham sandwich. Like, it definitely is. 
But anyway, um, Colonial Candles Vanilla Eggnog. I think Norma on the Candle Dancer's Corner used to really love this one. And on um, on cold, it smells, it does smell like eggnog, but a very sugary, sugary eggnog. Yeah, when it was melting, it kind of changed a little bit. I kind of lost some of that eggnog kind of vibe to it. Um, just a medium throw, I would say. Um, yeah, but it was it was different. Um, not in love with it or anything. This is Goose Creek's Cozy Home. And oh, I really like this one. Now, if you go on the website, it probably has about 20 different notes. Goose Creek is kind of infamous for their describing something and they add about 10 notes and you're like, what? Um, so this one, I think one of the notes was coconut. Um, I don't know. Some people do get coconut. Yeah, it could be a very like a almost woodsy, earthy kind of coconut. I get a wool sweater. That's what I get. I get a cozy, warm wool sweater. Oh, that's, that's what I get. Forget about the 10,000 notes. I get a wool sweater. And this is strong. These are strong. I put um, a couple of cubes in the family room and it filled up my family room, drifted into the kitchen, went down the hallway. Um, yeah. It, I, I, and I do like it because it does smell like a warm, cozy wool sweater, which is perfect for the winter time. And uh, yeah, I really like this one. I don't think I have any left though. I might have one left, I'm not sure. Um, this is Ashland, uh, which you get at Michael's, Wax Melt, Spice, Citrus, Pomander. Oh, now what do you got, Millie? She, oh, she has destroyed about four pairs of my shoes. Every time you see her, she's got something in her mouth. But anyway, oh, we love her to death. Um, spice, citrus, pomander. So this is, I was hoping it would be more of a clove scent, but it is um, a, an herbal citrusy scent, a winter citrus, not a tropical citrus. This is very strong. I put it in my uh, bulb warmer and it fills up the kitchen. What do you have? Oh, it's just empty anyhow. Um, yeah, it, it, it drifted uh, into a couple more rooms. It's very strong. Now, I like citrus and clove. You wanna go out? You wanna take that with you? I'll take it with you. <laughs> um, so what I did was I took this uh, Scentsy Melts in Cozy Fireside. This smells so good. I'm not empty, it's not empty yet. I'm hoarding this like crazy because I don't want to use it up. Um, I mixed this with Cozy Fireside because this smells like rich, decadent cloves. Oh. This is so good. This is like a woodsy clove. There's a little bit of cinnamon, other kind of nutmeg and spices, but the clove I find anyhow is a, the stronger scent. I mix these two. Holy moly. Lovely, lovely combination. If you ever can get your hand on the Scentsy Cozy Fireside and you like that, those very rich winter scents, love that one. This is another country home candle, um, uh, the Canadian company, uh, Fresh Baked Bread. And this one does smell like uh, baked bread. It really does. It's got a bit of a salty um, undernote to it. Frank likes to deep fry this bread. He got it from, uh, it's a Hungarian recipe. Um, he deep fries this bread. It's, crispy and brown on the outside and the inside is just soft and it just melts in your mouth and he and then he adds a little bit of salt on top not good for your heart but oh delicious um but uh yeah that's what it reminds me of and um it was fairly strong actually well it filled it filled up the kitchen pretty good didn't go much further but that's okay um but yeah it was good 
And then this is another Ashland's Autumn Gatherings Fall Forest. I don't think it was from this past fall, but the fall before. You want to focus? There we go. Oh. Yeah, this smells like you're walking into a wood cabin in the middle of the woods and someone's got a fire going. That's what it smells like. Oh, that woods, the, the, the fire burning. Oh. Good looking guy in his uh, wool sweater by the fireside. Oh yeah, I love this. I burned this uh, when I was watching Vikings, um, which is over, like the season finale was last week. It just seems like that series starts and it's over. Um, but yeah, um, I thought someone, I thought a few people were gonna die in that last episode, but anyway, didn't happen. Well, another one I like to burn um, during uh, Vikings and my little history shows is the, uh, this is another country home candle. This is their cottage life line and this is called campfire and this smells like a campfire. Like um, not one that's burning at present, but you come back in the morning and you get that kind of ashy smell, which some people don't like. Um, I don't mind it. It reminds me of camping. Um, but there's a sweetness to it. There's definitely a sweetness, but oh, it, it really did smell quite good when I was uh, burning that. Oh, this is my only one. I hope I can find this again. Sensational's Cozy Retreat. Um, got it in my bulb warmer over there right now. Honeycrisp Cider and Rustic Cabin Kitchen. This, oh, this is... There's, I, there's no words. It's just so good. Um, it, you do get an apple scent. Um, it's rich. It's woodsy. Um, the rustic kitchen cabin. Oh, it just they complement each other so well. It's strong. It's very long lasting. Um, I put this in the ball warmer, and it keeps going and going and going like the Energizer Bunny. Love that one. I hope I can find it again. Then Sensational Cider House Donuts. I found this in the $1.88. We didn't get it when, Canada did, didn't get it when it originally came out. We did get it when they had the $1.88 sale. I only could find the one. Um, yeah, someone said it's like uh, on cold, it's nothing wild or terrific. But someone said when it's melting, it does much better. It, it just smells much better. And that is true. When it is melting, yeah, it kind of goes to a different level and it does smell quite good. Um, there's a sugary cinnamon. It smells like sugary cinnamon donuts. And um, yeah, I did like it better um, when it was melting than on cold. But yes, I can only find the one. Um, Sensational's Coffee Cafe, which is spice sugar cookies and mocha frappe latte. Oh, whatever that is. I just drink my straight lattes. Um, yeah, I do like this. If you like coffee scents, this is a very, very nice one. Um, good throw. Lasts a decent amount of time. Yeah, it does, it does smell like a sugary uh, latte. Um, oh, this, this other one I really like. Better Homes uh, Spiced Apple Pie apple pie and cloves and I don't know there's just something about cloves scents I just uh, I just love them um, this one is just very very rich oh I always I didn't melt these individually I always melt them together because they complement each other just perfectly um, this is strong and I just love the smell of this one I just feel like wrapping up in a blanket with my flannel pajamas and sitting by the fire when I smell this one. It's just so cozy and inviting. Um, Ambiescence Pink Freesia. Uh, I think I got this in Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, I really like Freesia scents. Um, this one's... Uh, it's, it's a bright floral, but it's soft at the same time, like, oh, Mildred, do you want in? Come on. Uh, 
Uh, it softens up when it's melting. I put this in the bathroom and I just really, really like this scent. Um, kind of picky about my florals, but this one was really, really good. Uh, this is also by Country Home Candles, the Canadian company, their Cottage Lifeline. Uh, this is rum and eggnog. Now this was a very strange kind of scent, which I like. I like those really odd kind of out of there scents. Most people I don't think would like this one though. Um, I didn't get so much the eggnog. Uh, there's just a very, it, it does smell like a, like a, a, a rum drink that's been sitting on the counter just a little too long. Like, you know, you had a party and someone left their rum and eggnog sitting on the counter and you come downstairs and you sniff it. It just smells like it's been sitting around too long. If that makes any sense. This sucker was strong though. It was really strong. Um, yeah, you almost, almost have to maybe mix this with something. It was, it was different and it was very strong. Um, but yeah, it was, it, it's kind of neat actually. But yeah, most people I don't think would like that one. Um, oh, we're getting near the end here. Can't believe how much I got through this month. But anyway, um, <clears throat> so I dug this out of the wall unit. And this is, um, tea lights I got for $3 at Winners. Um, Happy Spring. Um, yeah, there's only a couple left in here. Uh, yeah, just a, a bright greenery kind of scent. Um, so yeah, it's nice to see these on clearance at uh, Winners or Marshalls or Home Scents, one of those, because they, they are expensive. Um, and then uh, some wallflowers, tis the season. This one is very strong. It's just a very rich apple scent, and um, I really, really like this one. I don't think I bought a candle of tis the season this year. I don't even know if I have any left. Um, I was hoping to pick one up maybe at the SAS sale, but of course that was a useless sale. But um, tis the season, this wall unit's um, strong, or wallflower strong, long lasting. <clears throat> and there goes my voice. Um, white mint latte. Oh, I can't remember. Um, I can't remember. I'm sorry. I don't know if that was strong or not. Um, I don't remember smelling it, so it couldn't have made much of an impression. Uh, this is Yankee Candles Balsam and Clove. And again, I like my clove scents. But this one was not clovey. <laughs> enough for me if there's such a word. Um, it wasn't bad. I, I do like the smell. Um, uh, but it it wasn't balsam and clovey enough for me. Uh, this is Berry Trifle by Yankee Candle. And this was strong and it was a really good scent. Um, I really, really like that one. Um, Yankee Candle's Warm Luxe Cashmere. Uh, yeah, this one was strong, and I burned this in my bedroom, and yeah, definitely a, a soothing uh, bedroom scent. It was laundry, um, but enough of a perfumey, so it wasn't just a straight laundry scent. There was a nice perfumey vibe to it. I really like this one. It definitely be a repurchase for me. Sparkling Snow. It's a... It's like an evergreen eucalyptus scent, and this one I like in the bathroom for some reason. But there's a brightness to it, and it's usually at least medium to medium strong scent. Oh, Dad must be home. Oh, another sparkling snow. And red berry and cedar. I love this on the cold, but unfortunately candles, melts. It's not strong for me, but I absolutely love it in, um, for the winter. It's a perfect blend of the uh, berry and cedar. I just wish it was stronger. Um, I just haven't had luck with this one. Um, if it was super strong, man, I'd just hoard this like you wouldn't believe. Uh, but anyway, that's it. Um, yeah, I got through quite a bit this month. Um, it helps when you empty out um, 
cupboards and wall units, you discover candles that you totally forgot about. So it was a good thing. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Give your loved ones a hug and kiss, and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.